just an award ceremony last night. ET's Kevin Frazier is here, and this was a, a lot more, uh, uh, not just movies and TV, right? This was, it felt like a movement. Yeah, it was. This was a very different ceremony because during award season, especially during the Golden Globes, we, you know, we expect po folks to come down on the red carpet, we chit chat for a right. moment, and we go in, and then, you know, you watch Talk the about award what show. They're wearing. But everybody hit that carpet in black, in solidarity, mm -hmm. and they were energized because of this movement. It was an excitement in the air that people wanted to talk to you and share their stories. And of course, the moment of the night belonged to Oprah Winfrey. Her speech after she received the Cecil B. DeMille Award was unbelievable. It captivated the entire audience there backstage where I was. It was it was just a moment in time. Let's listen to her for a second. Speaking your truth is the most powerful tool we all have. And I'm especially proud and inspired by all the women who have felt strong enough and empowered enough to speak up and share their personal stories. It is not lost on me that at this moment, there are some little girls watching as I become the first black woman to be given the same award. There were people crying and about that last night. I will I, tell you this. You were there. You saw I was it. there. I was backstage in the one-on-one -on -one rooms with Sterling K. Brown. He mm. was about to, um, I, we were about to sit down and talk about um, his win. Right, for and best actor. And everyone stopped and huddled around the monitor mm. and watched Oprah, listened intently, clapped, some cried. Mm. There were lots of just, there, it, was a, it was a great galvanizing moment and you felt it everywhere and I'm um, speaking of Sterling let's not forget his win for lead actor it's the first time an African-American male has ever won that award and that wasn't lost on him and neither was the moment with Oprah for her to be the recipient of the Cecil B DeMille and this climate it was perfect it was perfect it was perfect like no one could have spoken more eloquently to what the, the black is that we're all wearing tonight yes that Oprah went for now, I do want to point out that last night, Stedman Graham, um, Oprah's longtime oh. partner, <laughs> said to the Los Angeles Times that Oprah would absolutely do it if the people were into it. And I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, that's, that's the inner circle. There, right? And once he put that out there, today you cannot go online without seeing the T-shirts, the buttons, the sweatshirts. Everything is Oprah 2020. She has started something that I don't think she can undo. Our next president, a lot of people are talking about it, 2020. And you know what? Imagine a Super Soul Sunday with Oprah and other <laughs> world leaders working things out under the tree and, Mon and Montecito. I love that show. I'm there. No, it'd be amazing. It would be amazing. All right, speaking of amazing women, uh, Jessica Ch Chastain, so amazing in Molly's Game, one of my favorites this year. So good in Molly's Game, and she walked the carpet with Octavia Spencer. It was kind of a reunion of the help, um, mm -hmm. those two starting that movie together, but she is also a part of the Time's Up movement. And we talked about what motivated her to really get involved in what keeps her going. What pushes me is the courage that women and men have to step to be the first one to tell their story. That's no small feat to do, and um, I'm just kind of blown away by the strength that that takes. And I want to do whatever I can to amplify their voices and support them. That's important because besides those actresses and those stars that were on the carpet, there were also activists who were with many of the stars. And these women are actually out in the streets all across the country doing things. And these women who had a platform supported these other women who were trying to do good. And so you felt the solidarity and you saw it. And um, that's why we now have this legal defense fund that is going out there for all the people in Time's Up. And so I think everything has changed. Everything's different. We As may a woman, have a, I can yeah. say it, it was refreshing to watch because we're not, we're not just hearing that, oh, who are you wearing? Who are you wearing? You look beautiful. There was substance to this. And, and there was even substance in my conversation with Halle Berry, who looked beautiful and was wearing a magnificent dress. But yeah. first we talked about the, the way the conversation on the carpet has changed and maybe forever. How important is it to change what we talk about? It's really important. I like that tonight it's not really about what we're wearing, but it's why we're wearing what we're yes. wearing tonight. And that's changing the conversation, making it about something, you know, more substantive than just who's the designer. This is about a movement here tonight. And I hope it's a movement that isn't just like a drop in the bucket. I hope this is the inception of real, real change in our industry across the board.
And I do think it will be real change because of that defense fund that has now raised um, $16 million. They've gotten money from all 50 states, 60 countries around the world. Some people giving $2, the, the Spielberg giving $2 million. Seth Meyers, the host, last oh. night. Boy, I think that was a difficult job for him, right? He had to put it right out there. But he was funny. He was funny, he was a little irreverent, and he was also mindful of the moment. And he worked inside the moment beautifully. I thought he did a great job, and that seems to be the response of most people out there, that he was fantastic. And remember, on his show, oh God, each no, and every night, he, he does a monologue where he will delve into politics. So don't ever be shocked when you hear, you know, Seth speaking about issues, heavy issues, in a comedic way, because he does it each and every night, and he's a very talented man. So much more we can talk about. They can see it tonight on ET. Kevin, you thanks. All right, you can see a lot more of entertainment tonight's coverage of the Golden Globes on our sister station, CBS2. It's coming up at 7.30 tonight, Juan. All right.